everybody and welcome to That's Football. It looks like Liverpool have got their man. His name is Ruben Almarim of Sporting Lisbon. Uh, look, very much expected to be Liverpool's next target after Alonso decided to stay at Leverkusen. Really want to get your thoughts actually, especially Liverpool fans, but everybody as well. Do you think Amarim will be successful at Liverpool? We're going to delve into that, but why is it close to being a done deal? Well, basically because this is the guy that Liverpool want after Alonso and Liverpool Liverpool have been traditionally very good in recruitment. Um, it's coming in from Sky Germany that Chelsea were interested in Amarim. However, he can't do anything about it because he's had a verbal agreement with Liverpool um, contract till 2027 and he wants to join Liverpool, who obviously have a job available for him to leave Sporting Lisbon this year. This is coming in from Florian Plettenberg, who is at Sky Germany. But look, Fabrizio has been mentioning it and I think everybody knows this is a logical place. And um, look, Look, I think Liverpool's a great job. I really do. I don't think I don't think Liverpool's a great club. I'm a Man United fan, but as from we we're all capable of playing football manager or FIFA or whatever it is. We're all capable of looking at a club and going, well, if I was a manager, would I fancy that? And you look at Liverpool compared to someone like a Manchester United or even a Barcelona, and I just think they're in a better position. I look at that team, Allison's the best goalkeeper in the world for me. Trent's a very good right back. Robertson's still got years left in him. Who knows what happens with Van Dijk, but they've got good centre backs there. They've got some young ones coming through like Kwanzaa. The midfielder is the midfield is ridiculously balanced. You know, you've got people like um, Car Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, but you've got Gravenberg's young. You've got McAllister's young. You've got Sabozlai's young. You've got people like Endo who can still do a job. Uh, who what? You know, what happens with Salah is interesting, but you still got the Jotters, the Diazes, the Nunez, uh, the Gakpos. You're going to get a bit of money to spend as well. Um, I think it's a, it's a good squad to take over as a manager. And I think for someone like Amarim, uh, who whose style of play is, look, and I'm not, this is where I want to read the comments. How do you think Amarim would work at Liverpool in relation to his style of play? We'll talk about that in a moment. But Look, I think this deal will happen. Um, Liverpool fans may well be a little bit reticent to get too excited because obviously I think everybody thought they would get Alonso and then it didn't happen. So now everybody thinks they'll get Amarim and maybe he'll end up going to buy Munich or Barcelona. But I don't think so. I think that um, Liverpool have got to get the right guy. Alonso felt like it was going to be the right guy. I don't think Alonso is way better than Amarim, by the way. That might be not, not the hottest of takes, but... Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily think that he is. Um, I think Alonso is more hip than Amarim because he's doing he's going to win the league instead of Bayern Munich. And, um, you know, former Real Madrid player, former Bayern Munich player, former Liverpool player, they're all three obviously interested. I think he's waiting a year for Real Madrid, by the way, as I've said before. But Amarim, reputational-wise, I would say Amarim's a bit of a ten hog in the sense that you know, he's winning his domestic league, league, the Portuguese league, and Ten Hag was doing that with, with Ajax in the Eredivisie. So maybe the league's not as fashionable as the Bundesliga, etc. But he has done well in the Champions League and he is a good coach. And there is that risk, of course. But if you think about if Ten Hag had gone from Ajax to Liverpool this year, the setup at Liverpool is, is, is a lot better than what it is at Man United. And I think for Amarim, you can't compare him to Ten Hag. You can't compare him to Alonso. Of course you can't. But he's walking into a situation that if he is a good coach, there's no reason why it can't work. Um, and I think it, I think, I think it'd be very interesting. And uh, I think he is certainly one of the top contenders in this manager market uh, for anybody who's looking for a coach. And if Liverpool didn't get Amarim, where would they go? I mean, I think they have to get him because beyond that... I think De Zerbi's a massive red flag. I really do. And and, and where else are you going to go? So, Nagelsmann maybe. But that... I mean, I think Nagelsmann would be a good coach at Liverpool. I think he would work. But I think Amarin is the right one to go for. And I think that's where, obviously, they're going to land. With regards to his style of play, look, I don't watch a lot of sport in Lisbon. I've seen a bit of them. Uh, a lot of people telling me that 3-4-3 is their formation predominantly under him. Obviously, that's not what Liverpool play. Um... Will we see a formational change for Liverpool? Maybe, maybe. They've certainly got ways that they can make that work. It would be interesting to see Liverpool playing a 3-4-3 next season compared to what we've been used under, under Jurgen Klopp. But these are the transitional changes you're going to see. We're not going to see Liverpool continue playing 4-4-2 you know, or, or whatever Klopp plays. It's not a 4-4-2, is it? But you know what I mean. It's more of a 4-3-3. But we're not going to see that Um 
we're going to see a new new identity. We're going to see a new Liverpool. Um, and the transition may be bumpy at the start, but he certainly likes to press high up the pitch. He certainly looks to move the ball quickly. And I think these are things that, yeah, it's not going to come and part the bus is basically what, what I'm saying. And I think that predicting the formation he's going to play and how close it's going to be to Klopp and how the players adjust to that is just absolutely pointless. He could hit the ground running like someone like um, Ange has at Spurs. He could hit the ground running. It could be a slow burner. Look, as a Man United fan, the first seasons have tended to go quite well. It's the second season where it goes wrong. But sometimes it can be a slow start and then everything goes well, as we've seen with people like Arteta and Klopp previously. But I think he's walking into a club that has got foundations. I've said this before so many times that it surprised me that Klopp was going because I felt he was doing a Sir Alex and rebuilding another team to dominate with. And um, obviously you respect why Klopp wants to walk away because it's the, you know, the, 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 it's fatigue. But um, I think Liverpool are in a good good position. Um, be very interesting to see what 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 transfer budget there is available and what players look to leave in the summer. But um, in a way, look, we're, we're running before we can walk on this deal. But if Amarim does, does come in and Salah goes and maybe Van Dijk goes and, you know, maybe maybe a Trent goes or something like that and you end up with, I don't know, a bit of money from that, it might not be the bad... It might, they're going to transition and change anyway. So maybe... Maybe maybe that maybe that's a positive in in a weird way that he can bring two or three players of his own liking into those key positions and and straight away it becomes Amarim's Liverpool rather than Amarim taking over Klopp's Liverpool with players that performed under Klopp. So I think that's something Liverpool fans will uh, have to get their head around very very quickly is that it's a it's a new dawn and it's a new Liverpool um, and that can be difficult for any coach when you've got such a successful coach who was here before who walks out on their own terms it's easier sometimes to take over a well it is easier to take over a sacked manager because you know you're normally in a bad place they could be in a really good place so it's a massive job massive massive job and it's very different to when Sir Alex Ferguson left United because that team was coming toward the end of its cycle whereas I think Klopp has put a lot of foundations in place so what are your thoughts on Amarim to Liverpool I think it's um I think it's the right deal for them to do I think it's the right move for Amarim as well. And I think it's going to be very interesting to see how it works out. And it'll be a massive summer for Liverpool Football Club and a massive season next season. Get your comments in below. Make sure you smash a like on the video as well. Also, do not forget tonight. It is a massive, massive, massive Champions League night in the Champions League, funnily enough with uh, Liverpool playing not in the Champions League, but uh, obviously we will be seeing Arsenal play Bayern Munich and Real Madrid against... Um, Real Madrid against Man City. Can't wait for that. Um, also, don't forget the podcast is out. Goldbridge Saves Football. Scan that QR code or just type in Goldbridge Saves Football. Brand new episode out today with me and Will. Brilliant to be listening when you're commuting or whatever. Support the ultras become an ultra, listen to the podcast. Thanks everyone for watching. Speak to you all in a bit.